Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In John chapter 14, we still have this idea of faith being brought to the forefront. Uh, in chapter 13, we had Jesus' public ministry closed in the Gospel of John. And in that first section, we saw a lot about people coming to faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, the woman at the well, Nicodemus, uh, Jesus having discussions with the religious leaders who were having a difficult time coming to belief in Jesus Christ and refusing to come to belief in Christ. And we could say perhaps the emphasis was on people initially having faith in Christ and receiving and accepting Christ for who he was. But in chapter 14, we have Jesus actually speaking to his disciples who already believed that he was the Messiah, the Christ. And yet still, faith becomes a major topic there with Christ before his disciples uh, at uh, the night before he is crucified. And there's various ways in which this faith needed to play out in their lives. Oftentimes we might be mistaken in thinking that faith is just something that occurs when a person first comes to to Christ, when a person is first converted and, and places their faith in Christ, is something that is done at a moment in time in their lives. Uh, could be yesterday, it could be several years ago, it could be decades ago, when a person places their faith in Christ. And our main concern might just be getting people to get to that initial point of believing in Christ. And, and absolutely, that's an important thing, and it's something that we should uh, think of as very important, bringing people to faith in Jesus Christ. But we should never think in terms of thinking that this that's just the end. That's the end state. As long as we can get someone to initially believe in Christ, uh, that's the faith that they need, and then they're good to go for the rest of their lives. Even after we come to faith in Christ, as we continue our journey with Christ, faith still remains of the utmost importance. And it's something that we need to uh, grow in. We need our faith to grow. We need to cultivate our faith. We need to increase our faith. We need to endure with faith. Uh, remember, the scripture says that the righteous will live by faith. Faith is something that we live with for the rest of our lives and should be something that's important from the time we come to faith in Christ all the way to the end. And so Jesus is focusing on faith with his disciples uh, because of this. In chapter 14, uh, he speaks in faith or about faith in connection to understanding more fully who Christ was and his oneness with the Father. Uh, Philip had asked him, show him, show us the Father and it is enough for us. But Jesus said, have I been so long with you and yet you have not come to know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? They needed to not only understand and believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, but also they needed to understand more fully his relationship with the Father. And so here you have Jesus saying, hey, you, you had that initial faith, but you now need to increase in your faith and in your understanding of who I am. And, and take by faith... Um, maybe more layered things, layered truths about Christ and accepting those things as you go along. And, and as we walk with the Lord, it ought to be that more and more of him is revealed to us as we walk along. And we understand hopefully more about Christ years down the road, decades down the road than we did when we initially believed. And, and that's okay. We should be increasing in our knowledge and understanding of Christ and accepting and taking by faith the things that we learn as we go along. Here the disciples needed to understand that, yes, he was the Son of God, but also he was one with God, uh, which was another level of understanding of who Christ was. So increasing in our understanding of Christ, and really we could say with various topics of scriptures, as we understand new things, receiving those things by faith is important even as we continue on with Christ. But also faith is important as we go out to do the work of the Lord. Uh, 
He says in verse 12, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. So Christ says faith is important for the sake of doing the works that he was going to leave them to do. He was about to go to his Father. As, as a matter of fact, there's one of the themes in chapter 14 is this idea of Christ leaving. And so uh, he's about to leave them, and, and now they really needed to be grounded in faith. And he says here that if you believe, you'll do great works. And so there's this need for a continuation of faith in Christ Jesus for the sake of accomplishing great works for him. And and I'm sure that any of us who have been walking long enough with the Lord knows what a crucial role faith plays in doing the work of the kingdom. Uh, as we walk by faith, as our faith increases, our capacity for working for the Lord can also increase because we trust him more and we're able to go out and be more bold in the things that we're doing uh, on his behalf. So faith is important for the execution of great works for the Lord. But also we have mentioned here the importance of faith in uncertainty and in times when we might doubt. Uh, again, this theme of Christ leaving them was something that was shocking to the disciples. And it would have been shocking to them the, the very next day. They would either see or hear about the fact that Jesus Christ had been crucified and, and died on a cross, which would have been a tremendous blow to their faith. And Jesus needed to prepare them for that. In verse 28, in verse 28 it says, You heard that I said to you, I go away, and I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejoiced, because I go to the Father, speaking about his leaving them. For the Father is greater than I. Now I have told you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. So he was telling them before he left them, that he was leaving them, so that when he did leave them, they would believe. They would understand, yeah, this was part of the plan, uh, and it would actually increase their faith as they saw things play out the way that Jesus said that they would. And that's important for us as well. And the scriptures are really good about this. In telling us beforehand how life is going to be living for Christ. Oftentimes, maybe the, the picture is painted that, oh yeah, give your life to Christ and everything's going to be beautiful. Everything's going to be wonderful. He's going to fulfill all your dreams and everything's just going to be great. However, in the New Testament, we see... Coming to Christ, being placed in Christ, also means being placed on the cross with Christ. Taking up our cross, denying ourselves, following Him. We are crucified with Christ. Our old self has been crucified with Him. Romans chapter 6. Um, it's not always planet, uh, pleasant. We're told that those who believe in Christ will be persecuted. And, and that there is a roaring lion that's seeking someone whom he may devour. Uh... Life is difficult as a Christian. And the scriptures are very clear in explaining that to us so that when hard times do come, when we encounter trials, temptations, difficulties, uh, friction with other people because of our faith, we can go back to the scriptures and say, yeah, the scriptures told us it would be like this. And we can believe and say, okay, I'm not going to have my faith shattered, shattered just because I'm going through a hard time here. The scriptures said that we would encounter hardship as a Christian. Um, and, and that's a part of the plan, and that's a part of the process. So, as you can see in chapter 14, again and again, Christ is still working with his disciples and strengthening their faith in these various ways and, and increasing their knowledge of him, bringing in several layers of new understanding about him that they needed to understand, uh, showing them the importance and the connection between belief and works, and then also showing them uh, how they can continue in faith even when they saw their very Messiah being put to death on a cross and how they can continue in faith even after Christ was gone. So these, this is a good chapter, of course, a good chapter for them. This is a good uh, message for them, but also for us as well. So let's take these things to heart. Uh, let's think about these and reflect on them as we do our reading today. For that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.